Hey everybody, Glenn here again with DigitalSandwich.net. Let's go over the Mesh Deformer today. So the Mesh Deformer is a lot like the FFD Deformer, except you can do way more with it. So here I have this platonic object, and what I want to do is deform it. So let's go to the Deformer menu, Mesh. We drag our Mesh Deformer underneath the platonic object, and we can see that nothing really happens. So with the FFD Deformer, when you bring it up, there's already a a box that you use to deform with, but with, with the Mesh Deformer, we make our own box to deform with. So here I have a uh, really low-res sphere. If I drag this into our Mesh Deformer underneath Cages and click Initialize, Auto-Initialize, we can use this to deform our, our platonic object. So let's go to the sphere, go into Point Mode, grab a couple points, move these around, and you can see that it's uh, deforming our, our platonic object. So if you had a high-res character, you could, could make a low-resolution mesh around it. You can use that to deform your, your character. And since you get to make your own object to deform with, you can do some very cool things. So for an example, so for an example here I have an absurdly high-res chair I described from the content browser. And what I want to do is add soft bodies to it to drop it on the floor and have it bounce and wiggle and do all that stuff. And if you've ever used soft bodies before, you know that simulating a chair like this would take forever. So what we can do is make a really low resolution box, put the soft body dynamics tag on that, use that as the mesh deformer, and then put the mesh deformer on the chair and use the cube to simulate the soft bodies and deform it. So let's hit play. You can see it drops and it bounces around and this isn't cache this is going real speed on a pretty slow computer and it's pretty decent for, for such a high-res chair this is going pretty quick so obviously doing it this way isn't as physically accurate as putting the soft bodies on the chair itself but putting it on the chair itself would probably crash my computer and I would never get it done so you have a tight deadline this is a really good time saver I've used it a bunch of times and usually nobody can ever tell the difference so another example of what you could do is if you have a really high res character and you're having a really hard time skinning and rigging that character, what you can do is make a really low res version of it, rig that low res version, and then use the mesh deformer to deform your high res mesh. So for DigitalSandwich.net, this is Glenn with the mesh deformer.